You're gonna to wanna to open up your Adobe Premiere Pro. You're gonna to wanna to take all your files and import them onto your project. I'm gonna take my first clip here and drag it onto my timeline. All right, so here's my first clip. It's on my timeline. It's just me with the camera. My second clip I'm going to take is right here. Here it is, it's the drone. So let me just go down a little bit more. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take your first clip, drag it up one layer. You're gonna to wanna to take your second clip right here and put it right at the uh, back of that, right there. So now you're gonna to wanna to take your ink transition and drag that onto the timeline. You're gonna to wanna to put the ink transition onto V3. I'm actually gonna put this ink transition in the description below for free for you guys to download so you guys can follow along. This is what the ink transition looks like. It just goes from black to white, just like that. You can kind of see already what the effect's gonna look like. So now you're just gonna take the ink transition, which is on V3 over here, and you're gonna put that right on top of your first clip, which is on V2. You're gonna take the bottom clip, which is on the original first layer, and you're gonna drag that right underneath the transition. You want the transition and the bottom clip and the other, uh, the first clip to overlap. So right now, all it does is go through and there's no effect yet. It just, there's nothing going on. You have to add a couple things. So what we're gonna do here is you're gonna come over to your effects controls, type in track mat, and it's gonna pop up right here below. You're gonna take the track mat key and you're gonna drag that onto your first clip, which is on V2, the one that's above the second clip. After you drag the track mat onto your first clip, uh, you're gonna come over to the left side over here and you're gonna look for track mat. So right here is a track mat. You're gonna to wanna to come down to mat. You're gonna change that to V3. The reason why you're changing this mat to V3, just so you guys can understand a little bit better, is you're pretty much linking the video and the transition together. You're just connecting these two. So uh, the transition's on V3, the video's on V2. You're gonna come over here, change the mat to V3. The composition is gonna go from mat alpha to mat luma. And after you do that, you're gonna see your reverse. You're gonna to wanna to click this check mark box right here to reverse it so that you can actually see the image. It's that simple. It looks super dope, super easy to do, and it just adds that extra flair to the transition so it's not just a boring, cut, dry transition. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to do multiple of these transitions. When I first learned how to do this, uh, no one really showed you how to do it. It's kind of self-explanatory, but um, there's a couple things you have to do differently. So I'm gonna actually delete this so you guys can see how to do them back to back. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is come down to your project over here. You're gonna wanna take your uh, footage again. So I'm gonna come over here, grab my footage. Here's the original shot of me with the camera. Then I'm gonna drag this footage in, which is, let's see. All right, it's me with the drone remote, just like that. Then I'm gonna take the shot of the actual drone. Hold on, let me just zoom out a little bit for you guys. I'm gonna put this back over here. I'm gonna take the shot with me with the drone remote in the front. I'm gonna take the drone shot and put it second, and then me with the camera last. So it makes a little bit more sense. And then I'm gonna take the shot with me with the remote. I'm gonna take this shot and put it on V3. And then I'm gonna take the drone shot and put the drone shot on V2. And then I'm gonna take the shot with me with the camera and put that, or just leave that on the original V1 layer. Now you're gonna take the ink transition that you downloaded in the description below and you're gonna put that on V4, right up at the top. But now you guys can see actually the ink transition is longer than the first clip here. So what we're gonna to do to shorten that is you're just gonna come over to clip, you're gonna to go to speed duration, and you're gonna change the speed and duration to, uh, let's say 250. And so now you can see the clip is a lot smaller. The effect's gonna happen a lot faster, but that's okay, it doesn't really affect anything. It's just gonna be a little bit quick, and it actually still gets the job done. So now that that's like that, you're gonna drag the second clip underneath that transition, and you're gonna have the ink transition and the second clip line up. 
the first clip's going to be sandwiched in between the two. So what you're going to do now is the same exact thing. You're going to take, you're going to go over to effects. You're going to have the track mat, take the track mat, and add the track mat to the V3 layer, your first clip that's going to be shown. And you're going to come over to the left. You're going to come over here again, go to mat. Now you're going to change it to V4 because the ink transition is on V4. And then you're going to change the mat alpha to mat luma. And then you're going to click the reverse check mark box again. Uh, now you'll see that um, the image is there. And just like that, the transition is complete again, which is we already did this before. But now what you need to see is how to actually do the second part. It's a little bit different. It's not tricky. It's still easy. Uh, so what you're going to do now is you're going to take, come over here again. You're going to go to your projects again. You're going to take the ink transition again. You're going to put that on top. You're going to take the ink transition, you're going to drag that ink transition on top of your second clip. But uh, so it's still a little bit too long over this second clip here. It's taking up most of it. So we're just going to shorten this up a little bit as well. You're going to speed duration. Go over here. I'm going to put it just to 150. That should be perfect. Yep. And we're going to drag that to the end. And then we're going to take this last clip and you're going to drag it right underneath that transition. So the second clip is sandwiched in between. And so now what you're going to do is you're going to come over to your, uh, your cut tool and you're going to cut this second clip in half. You're going to come to the effects and you're going to add the track mat key to the second part of that cut. If you added the track mat key to the whole thing, it would mess up the initial uh, transition over here with this clip. Uh, by cutting it, it doesn't affect the clip at all, but it will only affect this portion of it so it will still run smoothly and then so now the track map key is here you're going to come over to the left side again do the same thing but this time you're going to change it to video 3 because this transition is on video 3 and you're going to change the uh, mat alpha to mat luma and you're going to click the reverse check bar, uh, check mark box again and it's that easy guys look at that it looks absolutely amazing super easy to do and yeah so if you want to actually take this to the next level what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add, you can find these anywhere. Uh, you just go to YouTube and type in whoosh sounds and you're going to come down. I actually have some right here. I'm going to put into the timeline and it just makes the effect sell. So here I'm going to come take the cut tool. I'm going to cut this out. I'm actually just going to go boom. I'm going to delete this, delete this. I'm going to take this sound. I'm going to uh, command C to copy it and then paste it because I'm going to use it twice and then I'm going to take this swish sound put it directly underneath the transition then I'm going to come over here take this swish sound put this swish sound directly under the second transition I'm just going to cut this down a little bit so the first one fits and put that right there voila <laughs>